Hello and thank you for checking out this video. I'm Brad Johnson of BradleyJohnsonProductions.com. Today's video is about why I don't spend hours and hours on social media, even though it's super tempting and there's always new social media platforms becoming popular every single year. So social media is a great thing and I'm not trying to knock it or say that you should never spend any time on social media, but it is a death spell for writers and there's more than one reason. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first time, or the first reason I don't spend a bunch of time on social media as a writer is because you're gonna waste all of your time. And it's just very easy to get trapped into hitting like on a bunch of posts, just scrolling endlessly and you know, seeing like what other people are up to, retweeting, sharing, sending DMs with links, it just, it can never end. You, you can literally scroll forever as, as we know. Social media platforms are designed to be like that because they wanna keep you there as long as possible. The longer they can get you to stay in the app, the longer that you're more likely to uh, be involved in what they're peddling to you. You're gonna see more stuff from advertisers. And again, it's not that any of these things are, are bad or wrong. And I've done social media advertising many times, so that's not like an evil thing or anything, but you could just spend hours and hours scrolling mindlessly through Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram and never get anything done. So it's a bad idea because you're using that time when you could be researching or writing or finding something that is useful for your writing business or building your blog. So. It's just a big time suck, so don't do it. The other and second reason that I don't spend hours and hours on social media is because writing is a practice, not a hobby. And the reason I say this is because oftentimes when we think about writing, or especially when we're talking about it with friends and family, if we haven't you know, reached the level of success that we want yet, is people are like, oh, so-and-so is a writer, but you know he, he or she isn't really making any money at it, so it's it's viewed by them as kind of something that you do as like a hobby or like, you know, like a, a sport that you pick up like frisbee or basketball or tennis, just something that you do in your free time. And while writing is something that you do in your free time, especially if you already have a different job now and you're transitioning over into full time writing, you have to carve out time specifically for writing, because if you just treat it like a hobby, it's going to give you the same results as a hobby. So if you went outside right now and you decided to, you know, just toss around a, uh, a baseball or something like that or a frisbee with some friends, that's totally fine. But that's all that you're going to get from that moment. And that's not a bad thing, but it's very different from investing yourself and your time in a specific activity that will get you a desired result. So when it comes to being a writer, you have to practice the art and the science of writing. And you have to focus on being a writer with the time that you have and using an editorial calendar and sticking to a schedule that will get you into a writing rhythm and basically you know, properly force yourself to become a writer in that free time. So it's, it's not something that you can realistically expect to see great results with if you're just doing it whenever you feel like it, like three or four times a month on a random schedule. It's just not gonna work like that. So if you cut out specific time and you commit to that time, that is what a writer does instead of spending hours and hours on social media. And then the third reason that I don't spend hours and hours on social media as a writer is because <clears throat> you need to find things that you know, you, you need to focus on not just having a ritzy, glamorous profile on social media. It's about finding a way to connect with people and giving them a reason to connect with you. So basically, people want connection because having a great social media profile is a good thing and it can lead people to a lead magnet for you or your blog or a specific ebook download or a landing page or something, but social media is the entry point. It's not the destination. That's something that's very important that I've learned from other successful writers. And it's something that I wish I knew earlier because I used to spend 
a lot more time on social media trying to really pump up my readership and my presence there. And that's a great secondary or tertiary activity, but spending time just to make a ritzy, you know, flashy profile, that's not really going to get you anywhere as a writer, at least not in like a long-term profitability sense, because ultimately you, you do still have to be selling products and services. So I don't mean to say that people who provide things for you that can help your social media get you to that end are bad. I'm not trying to diss those people at all. I'm just saying only spending time on social media or spending an inordinate amount of time on social media, that is just not a good plan. So you need to build your social media around the idea that it's a way for people to connect with you in your writing and to lead to something deeper and hopefully a sale of some kind. So those are the three reasons that I don't spend hours and hours on social media as a writer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please consider sharing it. And thanks for watching.